So this is Be Still and Know with Jonathan Edwards. Let's hear the Bible together. James chapter 5 verses 14 and 15. Are any of you sick? You should call for the elders of the church to come and pray over you, anointing you with oil in the name of the Lord. Such a prayer offered in faith will heal the sick and the Lord will make you well. And if you've committed any sins, you will be forgiven. Jesus was both a healer and a teacher. You cannot divide up his ministry. He ministered the whole range of people's needs, body, mind and spirit. When Jesus left this earth, he commissioned the church to carry on with that ministry. And here in James, we see what that meant in practice. The church is called to minister to those who are sick and to pray for them, knowing that God loves to make people better and also to forgive their sins. In recent years, the word holistic has become very popular to describe the way in which God works. In the power of his spirit, he wants us to be whole people, enjoying him and his world to the full. Many parts of the church have tended to focus on words and preaching and have marginalised the healing ministry. But that makes no sense if we're truly following in the footsteps of Jesus. Premier Lifeline offers an amazing ministry to tens of thousands of people every year. When people ring up, they speak with Christians about their needs, which may be predominantly physical, mental or spiritual. In truth, you can't divide people up as neatly as that. If you have a cold, it will definitely affect your mental and spiritual state. And if you're struggling to forgive someone, it's quite likely that it will have physical effects. Healing takes many forms, and when we pray for healing, we'll never be entirely sure how God will answer. Whenever I pray for people, I always tell them two things. Firstly, that I'm absolutely convinced of God's ability to heal. And secondly, that I don't know the way in which he will answer our prayer. In prayer, we entrust ourselves into God's loving, healing embrace. Thank you, Lord, that your desire for us to be whole in body, mind and spirit. Help us to receive and share your healing touch today. Amen. It's been a pleasure to spend these moments with you. I'd be delighted if this were not a one-way communication. So if you've got any questions or comments, do please write to me at jonathan.edwards at premier.org.uk. I'll then get back to you in complete confidence as soon as I can. Visit premier.org.uk forward slash voice of hope and join our growing Voice of Hope family. And follow along with these daily meditations at home in print, direct to your favourite mobile device, or as a daily podcast on the app Podbeam. I am Jonathan Edwards, and I encourage you to join me as I share a thought from the Bible Monday to Friday every week. May God bless you.